to discuss about social class and uh, accent in American English. And social class in American, uh, according to Lagos, is divided into six. There are. Let's take it out! The first is upper upper. So the second one is lower upper class. The third is upper middle class. The four is middle lower class. And the fifth is upper lower class. And the last is lower lower class. The American upper class is a social group consisting of the people who have the highest social rank and who are usually rich. As America lacks a true upper class of equivalent social calibre to the British and European landed gentry and aristocracy, the American upper class can be seen as simply comprising the wealthier, position or middle class individuals and families. People of this social class are socioeconomically distinguishable from other classes by their greatest influence, power, and wealth. The American upper class is composed of people with a history of family wealth going back centuries, called members of old money, as well as those who have acquired their wealth and influence since 19s. There are members of upper class. Many politicians, heirs to fortunes, top business executive, CEO, successful venture capitalists, those born into high society, and some celebrities may be considered members of this class. Some prominent and high rank professionals may also be included if they attain great influence and wealth. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al Qaeda, and a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men women, and children. It was nearly 10 years ago that a bright September day was darkened by the worst attack on the American people in our history. The images of 9-11 are seared into our national memory. Hijacked planes cutting through a cloudless September sky, the Twin Towers collapsing to the ground, black smoke billowing up from the Pentagon, the wreckage of Flight 93, in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, where the actions of heroic citizens saved even more heartbreak and destruction. And yet we know that the worst images are those that were unseen to the world. The empty seat at the dinner table, children who were forced to grow up without their mother or their father, parents who would never know the feeling of their child's embrace, nearly 3,000 citizens taken from us leaving a gaping hole in our hearts. On September 11, 2001, in our time of grief, the American people came together. We offered our neighbors a hand, and we offered the wounded our blood. We reaffirmed our ties to each other. Okay, now I'll begin. The first is pronunciation. In that video, uh, upper class persons are more likely to have hesitation in their speech, and then the letter R is pronounced more by higher social classes, and then they are usually using standard grammatical in United States, and for vocabulary, they use general American English. That's all. Thank you. Okay, the second one is lower upper class. Lower upper class includes those who have those who have high income in socio-economic hierarchy in USA and members of lower upper class have new maybe or, or made money acquired through, uh, high, uh, through hard work, uh, lucky investment or, uh, or athletic prowess. And for example, the member of lower upper, lower upper class is Bill Gates. As we know, Bill Gates is the founder of Microsoft and he is the richest person in SA. And so we can say the upper lower class is the new menu. 
the lower upper class speak more frequent standard American English than the lower class or the middle class. What makes it standard is that some of American English have the social power. Since the social power is decided by other people, the English spoken by people with powers is also desirable for others. If you want to see how they speak, let's see the next video. Well, everybody has an own, their own choice about what they believe in, you know, the freedom to pursue different things and the diversity of answers people come up with that is a great thing. There's no single model that, you know, should create this ranking of, you know, you, you get this single score. You've got people who do science and contribute, you've got people who do social services, people who do teaching, uh, people who do entrepreneurial things. And, you know, the great thing about our society is if you're lucky enough to get a good education, then you can find that fulfillment in a, in a variety of ways. So I don't have a metric that would apply. Um. In American English, the pronunciation R is the symbol of people who have higher education and higher social status and is the take of the upper class. So people with a higher socioeconomic class would give the post vocalic R. Then they will use the standard grammatical form and also they will avoid to use the slang word. Hello guys, my name is Luis Dayani and the next material is upper middle class. In sociology, the upper middle class of the United States is the social group constituted by higher status member of the middle class. According to Max Weber, the upper middle class consists of well-educated professional with graduate degrees and comfortable income. Most people in the upper middle class are highly educated with color professional such as teacher, professor, architect, and check it out. These are some of examples about upper middle class in the United States. Most people in the upper middle class are highly educated, such as professor, doctor, and lecturer. Every social class has a different variety of English language. This means that someone from upper middle class will use different words than someone from upper upper class, or perhaps articulate the word in another way. Not now, I will analyze about dialogue you have watched before. The first is pronunciation. In pronunciation, upper middle class has a distinctive and clear. It is particularly common among younger speakers to use like non vowel to word the end of sentence or thought. And the second is grammar. Sometimes they use grammar correctly because they talk use standard American grammar in daily activity. And the third is vocabulary. They use rarely vocabulary because only they will know about what they say in the topic, such as audit, enroll, prerequisites, course, art, zoology, and sociology. Hello guys, my name is Dewi Pakawati Parwin. Uh, okay, uh, the next material is middle lower class. In the form of definition, of course, the word the lower middle class is subdivision of the greater middle class. Universally, the term refers to the group of middle class household of individuals who have not attained the status of the upper middle class associated with the higher trio. In American societies, a member of the middle class belong to the first group which overlap with each other. 
uh, overlap middle class person, especially over middle class individual, are characterized by conceptualizing uh, and creating and consulting. One of the first major studies of the middle class in America was why there are the American middle classes, published in 1951 by sociologists. The sociologists such as Dennis Graeber of Hamilton College commonly divided the middle classes into the same group. There are so many status in middle lower class. The first is school teacher. They usually hold college degree but often do not hold graduate degrees. They make comfortable income but have low accumulated wealth. Their work is largely self-directed but is not high status. The second is nurse. They also hold graduate that good rate and numerous reforms become they work in a hospital and care to another people. The third is paralegal. They must also have a big colored paralegal help lawyer who practice and serve children in legal matter in some way in the United States and it is in need. The, the last is manager, a person in chain of organizing and directing others to achieve organizational goals and must have experience and knowledge that is very outside and must also have a big higher degree. As you know that the class is uh, six classes and so this is is uh, fifth class is lo upper lower what is upper lower upper lower class are poor people with credit cards that live in neighborhoods where long care is highly optional so, uh, as you know that uh, upper lower class we can call them such as uh, workers yeah the, or working class working class consists of individual and household or family with low educational attainment, low status occupation or and below what is it or low incomes yeah because they work use their stamina or their strategy with uh, their body so who is the worker class or upper lower okay such so as uh, craft workers and the second what is it mm, oh labor in factories uh, restaurant worker, yeah, or waiter, and etc. Yeah, like that. Nurse, nursing home staff, and also uh, repair shops, garage, or delivery service, and etc. Yeah. If you if you are interested this this what is it this information, so let's check it out. Okay, in this slide, I would like to explain uh, about upper lower class. As we know that upper lower class are poor people with credit cards that live in neighborhoods where long care is highly optional. In other words, we can call them the working class. Working class consists of individuals and households with low educational attainment, low status occupation, and below average incomes. Or, yeah, they have low education or low incomes in their work. Yeah, and the work, working and working classes are mainly formed in industrialized economies and in the urban areas of non-industrialized economies. Yeah, in this slide there is blue color. Blue color is uh, describes working class occupation, especially this involving one word labor. Okay, and this okay, next slide there are some of example that who is the working class? Okay. Uh, we can we want to continue about the manual labor. Manual labor is any work done by hand, usually implying it is unskilled or physically demanding. Uh, such as they work with their body. Okay, this slide is some of example that there uh, such as delivery service, yeah, delivery service, craft workers, restaurant workers, nursing home staff, repair shops, garage, and laborers in factories.
your boss has a responsibility about safety. Mm, the boss is very quite careful about the safety. Anyways, uh, some worker that has paper, but he pays good money. Yeah, he doesn't have to do anything else. He doesn't have to do uh, to protect us from the internet. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. All of us have uh, have like uh, our people who have the right to accept the place. Okay, in this slide, it is the transcript in the dialogue before. So this is the analysis about the vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation. In vocabulary, using upper lower class is common word that they know about in that environment because they seldom join or discuss with other people who more upper than them, such as upper upper, lower upper, middle upper, and etc. So they just know about the common vocabulary. In the grammar, they use common grammar who follow standard grammar in America. If they talk with other people but they still use abbreviations, she doesn't know. She, I don't know. And then it's trying the pronunciation. They pronounce the common because they talk using common pronunciation in daily activity. Yes, yeah, such as uh, the restaurant workers, uh, with a repair shop, del delivery service, we talk with customer and etc. Generally, the term lower class describes individuals working easily filled employment position. This position typically have little prestige or economic compensation and don't require workers to have a high school education. Sociologist Dennis Gilbert divided the lower classes into two. The first is working poor and the second is underclass. Working poor is those who do service and low run manual laborers and the underclass is those who do not participate in the labor force and rely on public assistance as their main source of income lower class households are the greatest risk of falling below the poverty line if a job holder suddenly becomes unemployed Estimates for how many households are members of this class vary with definition. According to Dennis Gilbert, roughly one quarter, 25% of U.S. households were in the lower classes. 13% were members of among the working poor, while 20% were members of underclass. While many in the lower working class are employed in low-skilled service jobs, lack of participation in the labor force remain the main cause for the economic plight experienced by those in the lower class. A poor or lower class family may be a single parent home. The single parent may be struggling financially and working two or three jobs to support the family. There may be a little not to support for the absent parent or he or she may be in incarcerated. They may have come from an educated and privileged background. They may have little to pass along to their children in cultural currency. This is generalization. It may not be true in all classes, but when parents lack cultural currency, the children are disadvantaged when compared to families that consist of the well-educated people. Uh, uh, Man, that's, yeah, man, I, I gotta go down for support, man. Uh, my man. Man, this is where I get my money, man. Yeah, but I, I need money for a kidney transplant. I need a money for a kidney transplant. Yeah, I'm sorry, brother, I can't help you. This is my spot, man. You're gonna have to find another place to go, like down the block or on Times Square somewhere, bro. I gotta go down for the support. You feel me? This is my spot. I've been kicking in for a minute, bro. Don't forget to... Bye. Bye.